What's up guys? I'm making this video today because I will be sharing my thoughts of my first Pokemon Go Fest. That of course being Pokemon Go Fest 2020. But enough of that, let's get into it. I will ask myself two questions. One, was it worth the money? That being $15. And two, should Niantic do another Pokemon Go Fest like this one, being a virtual Go Fest that anyone from around the world can experience? I will also share a solution that I thought of that might propose a compromise for those within the Pokemon Go community that can't travel to great lengths around the world just for Pokemon Go purposes. So, Pokemon Go Fest 2020. Well, I, for one, absolutely love being able to experience my first Pokemon Go Fest. The new shiny releases were great, and I got my very own Victini, including a new and blue Victini t-shirt that you can put on your avatar. Although the shiny rates were extremely low for a Pokemon Go Fest event, it was expected at the cost of all the other amazing new stuff Niantic has released within the last few months. I myself caught 10 plus shinies, and I'm totally happy with that. This GoFest was kind of like a really good community day, with varying Pokemon that were spawning. So was it worth the money? Yes. Definitely yes. But should Niantic do another GoFest like this one? Yes, if the circumstances force it to be that way. But if not, and they choose to do something similar to what my idea is, which I'll share next, all that many I know will ask is for just the shiny rates to be boosted more than they were set to for this 2020 event. Now, the solution. I think that Niantic should propose the option for everyone that buys the ticket, varying in value by the year, to be able to experience GoFest from home, or if, like every year in the past, if they choose to, so others can go to the real GoFest sites around the world and meet up with the other trainers in their respective cities when the time comes for this world pandemic to smooth over, of course. Now, I'll show y'all my shinies that I got from Pokemon GoFest, but I'll save my two favorites for last. Alright, to start it off, I have this shiny Lucky Gengar that I traded with my brother L Awesomeness, and I can't wait to evolve it, or Mega Evolve it, into a shiny Lucky Mega Gengar. The IVs on it, let's see. I can show you guys. Perfect attack, either 13 or 12 defense, and then, uh, yeah, it's 12 defense, and then a 13 HP. And then I also got another shiny Gengar that I evolved into. And those IVs are not so good. One star, 14 defense, 12 HP, and that, I think that's three attack. So that's not too good. But let's go ahead and look at all of my... Go Fest shinies. So, to start off the Go Fest catches, we have a few legendaries that I got during the event. This one being Go Fest 2020 3141 CP Groudon with perfect defense and HP. That'll be pretty great for the Master League. And I got another weather boosted Groudon. And then here's a Dialga that I caught from the raids. Perfect attack, 11 defense, and 13 HP for the IVs there. And I got a Charizard, which I was so happy we're spawning because I didn't quite have the Pokedex Charizard yet. I got a Kyogre. Let's check the IVs on that. Okay, so there's 13 defense, 12 HP, and 12 attack. We have a Giratina, which, by the way, is my favorite legendary Pokemon. We have 13 attack, 12 defense, and 11 HP for the Giratina, which I hope to power up and possibly one day max out. 
And I also got this Shadow Mewtwo and three Shadow Birds. I won't be checking the IVs on those since I don't want to make the video too long. I got a Shiny Skarmory, which I already had, but as the last Shiny of the event, I got this Shiny Executor. IVs, if I remember, are not too good. Yep, two stars. Not too good. That Articuno's IVs weren't too bad, though. I got this Hound Hour, which I can't wait to Mega Evolve into Shiny Mega Hound Hour. Bad IVs, though, so I might wait to get another one, if I ever even do. All right, Shiny Grimer. We have Shiny Chansey, Shiny Woobat, Shiny Tangela, Shiny Quillfish. Uh, Shiny Tangela being one of the new Shinies, so is Woobat and Quillfish. We have Shiny Metatite, which I did double up on, if you see over here. We have Shiny Snover in the middle there. Shiny Jigglypuff, which I actually didn't know was spawning Shiny. And my favorite shiny of the whole event, shiny unknown, and possibly the rarest shiny in all of Pokemon Go. Because you can only get it at GoFest, or if you get super duper lucky and have it spawn in the wild near you. And last but not least, shiny Marill, which I thought looked super cool. One of my favorite shinies from the event, other than unknown. And my second favorite, Shiny Executor. So, there's the video, guys. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel. And uh, maybe tomorrow, I'll even battle my brother with our new legendaries that we got. He sadly did not get a Dialga, but he did get the Giratina. So we can put our Giratinas against each other and see who is the better battler. All right. See you guys. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like, even post your trainer codes to friend other people in Pokemon Go in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. Bye.